So we read the book one for Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. Everybody, everybody read? You read this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so there wasn't um, much going on in the very first book. It was mainly just um, he was just talking about like all the different things that he learned from other people. Like he talks about like Maximus and Rusticus and like two different mm-hmm. Alexanders. His, <laughs> his dad him. had yeah. a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, his dad got, like, I think, like, three full pages or something uh, dedicated to him. Yeah. Yeah. It, like, mm. keeps going. Like, a good chunk of it's a, just, like, I love my dad. He's so cool. Yeah. He's, like, he's <laughs> the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so he basically just, like, I guess the the theme of that, the book one, is that he just talks about all the different characters in his life and, like, how they helped make him a, a better person, essentially. Mm-hmm. I think that's, like, a good exercise to do, like, in general. Yeah. Like, I think that's something I would, I would recommend anyone do, is just sit down and think about, like, who formed you, in a yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a pretty important thing, because every, like, everybody in our lives, like, contributes to, to who we become as a person. And I, I think they, they say, mm-hmm. like, the, the general, like, saying is that uh, the five people closest to you are the people who contribute the most to your personality and, like, who you, who you are to, like, today. So... Mm-hmm. But I guess for Marcus Rule, it's just more like 10 people or something. <laughs> and half of them are named yeah, Alexander. Really. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> half of them are named Alexander. He's Because he said, like. I guess it was a popular name. <laughs> yeah. Because there's Alexander. What, was he before? Was he after Alexander the Great? Is that why everyone was named Alexander, maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't really have a timeline. Yeah. I suck at history, so. Yeah, I, I don't know history either. But, uh, yeah, because they had the, he had Alexander the Grammarian and then Alexander the Platonist. Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. just, everyone's, hmm. everyone's named um, Alexander. No, speaking of, uh, speaking of, uh, contributions, uh, I knew, I had a feeling it was going to be good, like a fun read, like in like the first couple paragraphs where it says, from my mother, uh, she gave me simplicity in my way of living, far removed from the habits of the rich. Mm-hmm. And so it's just mm. like, thanks for making me not a spoiled brat <laughs> and a <laughs> yeah, you snobby piece of shit. Often. I really appreciate <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. It's like, I, you know, and I think that's a good thing. It's like, all right, cool. This guy, this guy knows what's good if he understands what privilege is and that he can see past it. Yeah, he's, he seemed pretty he, good. Like, reading further, it sounds like he kind of grew up pretty decently, but he's, like, not pinky up about it, which is yeah, A-OK. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like it. It's definitely, uh, because I didn't really consider much about, like, oh, having, like, gratitude for what you learn from other people, which is definitely something to important to, like, reflect on. Even if, like, they're, like, a negative example. Because there's definitely some people in your life that are, like, a negative example. And you're like, I don't want to be, like, like that person. Yeah, they, I got plenty do. of those. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it is. There's, there's, there's one, another one that I wanted to, that I highlighted here from, where it says, from Diognetus. Uh, it goes on about, like, how not to worry about trifling stuff. And then mm-hmm. somewhere halfway down, it says not to breed quails for fighting. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like, that was like the chicken fighting. The, the so I've something. heard of cock fighting. I've heard of <laughs> dog fighting. I've never heard of never duck fighting. Fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. did, did, was that a thing back then where people would breed so. maybe. That ducks was their, or quails their... and just have yeah. them go at it? That's kind of how they would gamble. That was their, their cock fighting of the day, I guess. It was just quail. Yeah, like, I've never heard of quail fighting. Like, I'm glad someone taught you that not to do that, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Hmm. I, do, I do like how he writes, though, because he's very, like, he's not, like, uh, poetic or he doesn't really care about, like, the posy or anything about that. He just writes, like, very plainly, which is something I, I like about, like, yeah. writers is that they're just, like, I learned this, 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 and this, and it's like, doesn't they don't try to put in, like poetry or something like yeah. obscure. Or it abstract. feels like. It feels like reading a journal, like a hundred percent, like, because he'll he'll say something really profound, and then sometimes and then it'll be really structured for a little bit, and then he'll just go on this little tangent, mm-hmm. and have 
like several lines that's just one sentence with a bunch of semicolons and he's mm -hmm. just like going 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 and you can like almost feel him just scrawling this shit out really yeah. fast he's just like he thinks about like he's, he's just... like hmm my dad and then he's like oh my dad has this 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 and it's just like a paragraph yeah it's like a it's laundry just, list he's got streams of consciousness thrown in there mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it is pretty it's pretty funny Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so but I, I think that's like what um when they say like meditations in um wait how did you i'm sorry why is that why is this one acting up your ears are down <laughs> the left hand is like fine but the other one isn't but usually when they say like um meditations in in like for like philosophy it's usually just like a bunch of the random writings they just like throw together so this might literally just mm -hmm. be like his journal I mean, that they just put put in there <laughs> hmm I mean, that's really what meditations are. It's mm -hmm. just exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> Self-reflections, all that stuff. Yeah. It's not like they, they didn't, like, attend it to be, like, a book or published, but they just, like, <laughs> grabbed everything. They're like, let's grab his personal diary and publish it to everybody. He's like, no, <laughs> that's my diary. Put that thing back. No. Yeah, put, my back, put my diary back. <laughs> now everyone's going to know how much I love my dad. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> my 10 page diatribe of how much I love my dad oh I think um oh the I think the person I liked the most was um was the Rusticus guy cause he says something about like Rusticus essentially Rusticus like taught him to not be like superficial about things like so if you mm. like basically to try to be be those things and not care about just like trying to have the appearance of it so don't be like a, a mm -hmm. sophist, be like an actual philosopher, and don't like try to appear smart, actually try to become smart, is essentially mm -hmm. what he was getting at. So I like that, that guy. I think while it's like, I really like what he says, and it seems like he, he has definitely done that, I think it's hilarious that and that's the paragraph where he uses like the most quote unquote like college words. <laughs> mm where where it says i received the impression that my character required improvement and discipline and for him i learned mm. to not be led astray to sophic emulation nor to writing on speculative manners <laughs> or nor oh wait uh nor to delivering little horatory orations <laughs> and it's like That's are you funny. sure about that because <laughs> you're actively doing the thing <laughs> That is pretty funny. But I guess I, if I you just write like that, then you write like that. But I just found it hilarious that he's just, like, using this high-level language yeah. to be like, I'm not yeah. doing this. Yeah, you should be plain in all <laughs> things. That's the only time he does like, it. the most advanced language. I didn't even pick up on that when I read yeah. it. That's, that's funny. I just completely ignored, <laughs> ignored it. That is funny. Of the... Um... Of the people in the book, who do you, who do you, or, or like the people that he like learned from, who do you think you resonate with the most? Like, who do you think you're most similar to? Uh, I'd have to think about that one. You go first. <laughs> I'm not even through. sure. I've never, a, this is my first decision. time reading, philo this is my first time reading full of philosophy, so I don't even know. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Me go? I... Well, let yeah. me double check. Let me double check my notes. I mean, you did you did say Rusticus already. You already said yours. Yeah, Almost. yeah. It's I don't even know like an honorable mention. It, so, I'm not sure. <laughs> I do like the the when you mentioned what was how do you pronounce his name? Geonetus. Geonetus. I forget his name. I forget how to pronounce his name. I think it's I think it's it's Diognetus. Diog Diognetus? Okay. Yeah, that, I like Because I'm guessing, because, like, I don't think, I don't think Latin ever had a G-N sound, so I think it's, I think it's syllably, like, Diog... Oh, okay. Diognetus? G-Netus. I think the Netus is one thing, and then the Diog is another thing. I have no idea, because Dio oh. is, like, hmm. a prefix, and I don't, I've never seen with a G... I don't fucking know. <laughs> we can't ask him, so we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's. Um, I think his his dad's name was weird. It was like Antoninus or something. There's like an extra N in there. I. It, yeah, 
I was uh I was typing over the URL to my little tablet so I could like flip through easier. And I mistyped that thing so many times because I didn't see the other end, and I'm like, why isn't this working? Yeah, I'm I thought like, it was just oh, it's Antonius, not Antonius. But it's Antonius. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Antoninus. Yeah, or something. It's like. Anonymy. Yeah. They just added mm -hmm. the extra N in there. <laughs> but yeah. I think the one I. Like, just kind of refreshing. I would probably go with, uh... Ah, oh, shoot. Now I'm torn. I'm torn between Apollonius and Sextus. <laughs> you just like those the are the Sextus ones I highlighted name. the you most. Just like Sextus's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, part of it's the name, but it's also <laughs> the one that I threw the most, like, highlights in. And so it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I got you. Because uh, cause Sextus specifically specifically says uh, to look carefully after the interests of friends and to tolerate ignorant persons and those who form opinions mm. without consideration. Mm. Yeah, pretty good so one. don't attack someone because they're dumb, but instead, like, tolerate it so that they can not be dumb anymore. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah, just a matter if they don't know. And that is... can be easily resolved. But if you just beat on them, then they're not going to get anything out of it. Other, yeah. You know? Well, I wonder how you apply that. Cause look out says... for your pals. He says, like, you should offer the expression they should use instead, and I'm wondering, like, well, I think he says you should adeptly offer the expression they should use, and I'm like, I wonder how you, how you do that, because that's obviously a skill. <laughs> that's a pretty hard skill. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're, you're wrong, but here's the correct, here's the correct expression, the correct statement. So, I don't know how exactly you do mm -hmm. that. I mean, if it's something that you know about, then you can push your glasses and, um, actually the fuck out <laughs> um, of them. Actually... But... <laughs> Um, actually. Because <laughs> I remember one, there was this one time for... my, my, my dad came home and he was like, I, he probably had an argument with somebody and he's pissed off and he's like, Darwin's stupid if if uh, evolution is real and we evolved from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? And I was like, uh, that's not what the, that's not the expression is. And I'm like, I don't know how to correct mm -hmm. you. And he was pissed. And so I'm just like, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I'm just like, I don't want to get in a yep. fight or anything. I'm like, well, we evolved there... from a common ancestor, but I don't know how to like d teach, like tell him that without him being more pissed about it. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, what the that's hell? That's often I that's probably the most frustrating thing is being like, I know you're wrong, but I I don't have the source to prove it right now, but <laughs> I know you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Like I also don't know how to like diffuse your anger and then help you. Learn. Oh yeah, it, because that's the first. Step it becomes a social thing too. Yeah. yeah, it's like okay, you're there somebody was, pissed there you was off. one person, and I have to diffuse you, and then we can like learn together or something. <laughs> yeah, there was one sort sort of side tangent on that. There was one person I was talking to one time about like systemic issues in society and whatever, namely about like policing and ghettos and stuff. And uh, the one, th and when I was talking to him about it, I was trying to explain it in a very specific way, mm -hmm. without using the term systemic or systemic violence, because I knew as soon as I said it, he would turn off. Yeah. Hmm. Because he see he would he's like I know what media he goes through, and I know what he's like retorting already, and I know that as soon as I see these words, or as soon as I say these words, he's going to immediately block it out. So I'm going to tell him mm -hmm. how it is with out using those words and he actually listened and then afterwards he was like i can't believe you did all of that without saying systemic violence i'm like that's exactly why i didn't because i knew you fucking <laughs> i knew you were waiting for it and so <laughs> that's funny <laughs> it's because so like you really have to like play the person you know and yeah <laughs> yeah this stuff is always uh it difficult but yeah i i shut down when i hear buzzwords though too because usually it's like if people use buzzwords it kind of like you kind of like assume that they don't really know what they're talking about it's like oh they just watch like, right one YouTube yeah you short. think they're just reciting something <laughs> yeah they, yeah they, they, but they if you explain something. it without using buzzwords <laughs> yeah it's like okay i i've seen the youtube short you're you're reciting and regurgitating it's like it's like that person who um they only speak in memes it's like the only thing they could say is just like mm -hmm. it's a reference to a meme or just like a mimic of a meme. <laughs> it's kind of like that type mm -hmm. of thing. It's like okay, I, I know the meme. I know the meme. I know the meme. 
Why is this guy quiet? But you. Hmm. Who would you be like? I'm always quiet. <laughs> <laughs> what character would you would you be like? I I don't even know to be honest. Okay, you you'd be the mother. You'd be like his mom. <laughs> be the mother. Yeah, be like funny. The, mother. <laughs> <laughs> the mother is kind of a G. Like she gets mm -hmm. the least amount of writing, which kind of sucks. But like, mm -hmm. she got first in line in terms of like yeah. like top of the page book one. Thanks, mom. Right. Yeah. I think. Grandpa, and it was like really short, one, sweet, and concise. Yeah. Oh yeah, Grandpa was slot one, yeah. and then it was and it was the mother. Mm -hmm. it, and it's like, you know, it sounds like the mother did, like, the most core shit because without her, none of the other stuff probably would have happened. So I kind of wish they went into True. it a little, but yeah. at the same time, it's like, at least she got front and center. Yeah, I, I think most people say to that, like, the, the, like, emotional foundation usually comes from the mother. So it's like, if, if they, mm -hmm. if, like, the individual has, like, a bad emotional foundation, like, they're emotionally immature, emotionally unstable, it's usually, like, the mom didn't didn't like wasn't in like their life or a big mm. part of their life or something mm -hmm. motherless behavior <laughs> oh actually now that i think about it i think further on it said she died young so maybe that's why she didn't get much yeah. writing but still oh, true. you know you yeah. think there would be something well i don't remember much yeah. of, like any I, I remember i think from like ninth grade onwards but it's like you know most of the core work that like women do in your life you're like when you're young like really young like a toddler and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Hmm. Mm hmm. So. Gotta get that nutrition and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, I meant like the. I meant more like the <laughs> emotional development and stuff. Well, yeah, that's where you get the emotional development when you're like eating. So we have like a strong connection <laughs> with eating and emotion. <laughs> you laugh, but it's fuck. It's true. <laughs> I have not sat at a dinner Eating table and ate with somebody in, in decades, <laughs> years. I mean, same, but, so. you know. No, I get you. It's, it's a pretty big thing. Um, I think the last thing I have in, in my book is um, what character would you want to be like? Like, which character hmm. the book would, you, would you want to be more similar to? Which for, for me, I guess I'll go first. For me, I picked Maximus because um, he had the the line about like self mastery and being kind and forgiving, which those are like. I mean, self mastery is good. I could agree with that one as well. Yeah, everyone should get like self mastery. I, mean, I, I can agree yeah. with that for sure. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm. I'm gonna probably lean toward Apollonius, on okay. this one, because it's about. Um, Uh, words, words, words. It's about not. It's about like. Uh, dang it! I had it and I lost it. I had it and I lost it. <laughs> no. Man, um, it's about showing emotion and being, not being afraid to be vulnerable, especially in times of of grief. Hmm. hmm. And like. And I think that's like a good skill to have. I guess, I guess like, I, like... I think there's too much emphasis today on like oh being tough and having a stone face and it's like no what why would we why would we applaud that behavior I don't think we need that yeah I think mm -hmm. it's I think it's totally fair to show the like hey some this sucks and we should <laughs> do this, this <laughs> thing right here kind of sucks <laughs> and <laughs> we're gonna give it like the attention it deserves because it sucks yeah and we should all acknowledge together that this sucks and find unity in it because mm -hmm. i think that's what like tragedy can also bring people together yeah and i think putting a stone face on everything just makes this whole, whole individualist thing happen and it's really dumb yeah <laughs> yeah i think people yeah there's like it's kind of like an extreme it's like being too emotional or being like not emotional at all it's like you want to be like in balance somewhere in the middle and like you know feel mm -hmm. emotions pro in like proper times and stuff like it's okay to <laughs> grieve and cry and stuff like that stuff happens but so mm -hmm. but you don't want to be like on one side extreme and like pretty much anything right i mean i think that's fair for anything everything in balance yeah it's like there's also the saying don't cry ever spilled milk 
Mm-hmm. But I guess if you're just really emotionally attached to that milk, then, I mean, go for it. <laughs> Ball your eyes no. out. No. <laughs> but you're going you're gonna to exhaust yourself if you cry over every milk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny because like, the thing that I liked about, about, like, reading in general is that, like, everybody has, like, their own different, like, preferences and stuff. And so it's like, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even remember Apollonius in, in the reading. I read it and I didn't even, like, remember it. Like, I didn't, I didn't retain it. I, like... Basically, He's re- it's really short. <laughs> yeah. Well, I basically fixated on like Rusticus and like Mar- uh, Maximus because those are like the two characters like I like the most, and I, I like mm-hmm. I I, um, I guess relate to the most or want to relate to the most. And so I think it's just always it's always kind of cool when you guys like read books and talk about them, and then I hyper fixate on like one part. That's fine. And then some other people hyperfixate on some other part. I'm like, I don't even remember that part. <laughs> yeah, and then you get a full, a more full story. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can yeah. kind of see like the one thing with Maximus. Like... Yeah, the one thing with Maximus, I did highlight some stuff on. I had to like flip through to find like, where's Maximus? I don't remember that name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Sort of you and Apollonius. I'm like, shit. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like Apollonius. Uh, I don't even remember that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the one thing with Maximus I highlighted was just like he had he had like some some neat lines, but there was one thing I highlighted where it was nor did he ever laugh or disguise his vexation, or sorry, hmm. nor did he laugh to disguise his vexation, which is something I really liked, and that's something where I think that's a really admirable trait of if something if you're pissed at something or if someone says something that's like. Confusing. kind of fucked up and you do that awkward you do that awkward kind of ha 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 I, this makes you uncomfortable but i'm gonna laugh so you we don't get into an argument about it mm-hmm. it's like i think it's far more effective to be like hey that's not really funny <laughs> that kind of sucks you shouldn't say that kind of thing mm-hmm. we're not gonna get into it but like i'm not gonna give you a pity laugh for saying something rude like no a lot of people won't and do I, that I, <laughs> right yeah. there, nobody wants to be confrontational and that's you know time and place for everything but like there's certain yeah. things where if you get the opportunity i think it's good to not do the hmm. ha 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 yeah that was that was funny dark joke and it's oh, like no it's like man why'd you say that that's that's a, <laughs> what a vibe killer shut up <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it definitely. It's like that's just like a, a normal like habit that's like kind of hard to, hard to break because especially when you're like around people you're not too familiar with, you're just like, okay, oh this... yeah, trust me, I used to yeah. do it all the time. I mean, I'm trying to like actively do it less. Because... <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of friends because of that. So yeah, I speak my mind and I tell them how it is. So he does. Just like true. Hear it that's well. how you get good friends. That's <laughs> you know, <laughs> either either they learn something and you become friends like through the betterment of each other or they say throw their hands up and be like well you're you don't think my jokes are funny man it's like okay well i don't want to fucking hear your jokes anyway goodbye (laughs) or hear what you think are jokes yeah yeah it's a win-win honestly (laughs) yeah i think it's more important just to have like quality friends and even if you're like friend zone is like small it's like which is good for Mm -hmm. me I think mentally I only have the capacity for a couple people in my life anyways. <laughs> I'm not like some weird extrovert person where like, oh, I need a hundred friends and I want to talk to them all daily and stuff. It's like that. That is way I don't know how people do that. <laughs> weird. They are freaking weird to me. I'm like, how do you have that many friends and you talk and hang out with a bunch of different people? I'm like, I have like three or four people I hang out with and that's it. And that's like the maximum mm-hmm. capacity. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. But those three or four people, they get all the love mm-hmm. <laughs> there was going on looking at maximus again there was another thing i highlighted whereas he presented the appearance of a man who could not be diverted from right rather than a man who had been improved mm. which i think is such a hard line mm. <laughs> of just like now nah, this dude was fucking born perfect he didn't have to get <laughs> fixed or repaired mm-hmm. literally shows no flaw came out the womb just yeah fucking banger and I'm like, how? First off, how would you even tell that? I think that's a mm-hmm. bit of it's, it's sort of odd, and I think it's kind of going into like, nurture, like nature versus nurture or nature over nurture, mm-hmm. kind of shit. But like, without reading too far into it, I just think that's like, 
this dude is like the perfect man <laughs> literally flawless has never fucked up once in his life <laughs> yeah with a name like maximus too what a yeah this goes hand in hand but we, we don't even know how like old this like the people are though because he doesn't really say like what his relationship is with them he doesn't say like oh this is like mm -hmm. You yeah. know, old Maybe once we get something. further into the book, he, they'll get into that. He mentions they were younger, or because like he he mentions his regrets of like not telling them how much they he meant to him sooner, and his excuse for that was because we were young and dumb. But it doesn't give like oh we were in our early twenties or in our tweens or whatever. It doesn't really say. Yeah. Did they just say we were young and dumb and we didn't think about it at the time? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, there's not like a whole lot of context between like the the people. I mean, obviously you know his relationship between like his mom and his dad, but then the other people he mentions mm -hmm. is just like, well, are they your age? Are they a lot older than you? Did you grow up with them? It's like, it's like because I mean, Maximus is like probably sounds like he's like one of his like best friend or something like that, like somebody like idolizes or something. So. Mm -hmm. They've clearly been homies from day one. Yeah. Whichever, wherever that day one started, it was homies from day one for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think it also touches into, I don't know, this is it's a bit of a cop out, but wisdom happens comes from any age. Hmm. I guess. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter in the end how old they are because so long hmm. as they're saying the wise stuff it's like well they're right when you're yeah. right you're right <laughs> yeah i think wisdom probably comes from experience but it's like uh, you know obviously that's not like an age thing typically it's like an age thing it's like, oh you get older you right get more experiences and you get like wiser but like, yeah but you know for but some if you people, have a shit ton of experience when you're young and you can parse it really quickly mm -hmm. then you can drop some fucking bombs on people when you're you know <laughs> 15 or some shit drop mm -hmm. bombs. yeah drop some knowledge bombs on them <laughs> that's funny joseph any yeah. thoughts mm. no thoughts i don't know because it's my first time reading philosophy so a lot of this is i was, I was sitting there like <laughs> confused so i've never read any, i've never read anything like this before well what do you what do you think happened in the first book what, what was it about it was like more like an introduction. That's how I looked at it. What was it? Really was. <laughs> His family members and the people that he that's close to him. Oh, and what, what do you say about him? <laughs> you okay. Um, I don't think I have any more notes. I like the oh, apparently oh, one of the note I had is apparently I like Maximus the... got ill at one point. Hmm. Yeah, I just read, I just noticed that part when I was I was flipping through trying to find this one. There's a couple extra details I highlighted in red because I'm like, hmm, that's weird. I want to. This is sus. <laughs> Uh, because he talks about slavery a lot. <laughs> oh, he did? And, uh, hmm. yeah, and so when he's talking about his dad, uh, there's one thing oh, where yeah. he's not, going like, on like about the, a list uh... of things that he, he, yeah, it's like, yeah. he did not take the bath at unseasonable hours, he was not fond of building houses, not, nor curious about what he ate, nor the texture and color of his clothes, and nor the beauty of his slaves. Hmm. And I'm like, wait, his dad had slaves? <laughs> I mean, it's the Roman times, so yeah, they probably did. Yeah, it's like, was yeah. this just like a cat? Because like, he mentions it a couple times just offhandedly, like, yeah, just people's slaves. And yeah. I'm like, is this just so commonplace that everyone just has slaves? Just chilling? I mean, it's still common. And I think they're in hot. The, in the gay community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <but> that's like, <laughs> consensual. <laughs> 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 Not class warfare. Uh, tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Usually they're getting paid to be a slave. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I also like that he, he he says that his dad works as if he has an abundance of time, which I think is just a good another good property of just like mm -hmm. yeah, act like whatever you got you got time, be patient, all that stuff, which is ironic at the same time because oh wait, that's in book two, never mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too far ahead. <laughs> he basically, he basically says YOLO. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which I think Leave each good. moment like you're gonna fucking yeah. yeah. <laughs> he like takes his time on everything, which is like nice. It's like I usually end up brushing through things, especially like college work stuff. It's like okay, this task I'm gonna go half fast and rush through it and speed run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find if you just add an extra second to things, you can get way more out of it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be so much worth it. It's like just a little extra time gives you a big quality gain. And it's like, you know what? That's that's efficiency, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No point in speed run. Especially in cooking. Yeah. Like, there's time and place to speed run. And if you can do something good and fast, then fucking go for it. But mm -hmm. if if you want something good, don't be afraid to add a little extra time to it. Yeah. I think the, I think the quality is the most important part but it's 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 also like i guess like hard to well it's usually like you usually have like stress of other things you have to do and that's usually like what makes you like rush through tasks that you shouldn't rush through mm. so it's like the skill mm -hmm. of not stressing your stuff yourself out about the stuff you have to do later down the road is, is a, a skill mm -hmm. that's important to learn oh absolutely that's like also why i am the number one bitcher in workplaces because <laughs> they'll be like we not we need this done fast it's like do you want it done fast or do you want people to fuck up and make more work for everybody mm -hmm. because if you force people to do fast you're going to get more mistakes when you get more mistakes you're going to get more work and then we're going to take way longer than if we just took the extra second mm -hmm. fucking chill let us do it <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.